This plant ate a fly and this is the skeleton it left behind. Let's try remove it without triggering the trap. But why does it leave the skeleton behind? After a fly trap catches a bug, it starts making digestive acids that turn the insect into a nutritious soup. The plants then absorb the soup through the walls of the trap, leaving only the dried up exoskeleton behind. This is because the acids aren't strong enough to break down the tough skeleton of bugs. But in the wild, no one walks around and removes all the skeletons. This job belongs to the wind and the rain. Let's see if we can copy the wind and blow the skeleton out. No, it's still glued on pretty well. How about copying the rain? No, this doesn't work for us either. Let's try the human way. If you try this, you must be very careful to not touch the trigger hairs, otherwise the plant will close by mistake. And now, we get to see the dry remains of a Venus flytrap meal.